Oh guys, it's been a hell of a day. Um, sorry I haven't spoken to you. I am completely exhausted. Um, I woke up late this morning, which is why I didn't speak to you this morning. Um, so we were doing our get out for prod, um, sorting all the sound stuff out and clearing everything up. Um, so sorting the studio out was a bit of a mammoth task, um, but luckily we were done by about one. And then I had to quickly scribble in my notebooks, in my notebooks, in my logbooks, um, and hand those in um, as part of our process grade. And then um, I went to the live wire committee meeting because I thought it was a good idea. Um, I mean, it was a good it was a good idea in the fact of just seeing other people that aren't drama people because I really need that right now. Um, I mean, it was really nice and just got me back into that that mindset. Um, and then I had a quick chat and coffee with my friend Harry um, about more radio stuff, which was nice. Um, and then I've just come back here and cooked some dinner and watched a load of rubbish TV. But as you can see, I'm having some kind of reaction or hot or just my body's not not happy my back is absolutely killing me it's just whenever I try and move it just is twinging and it's horrible and I, I I just don't know what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do with it I'm gonna try and cool down more again tomorrow um because I just I need this better and I don't want to be reliant on a load of a load of pain meds oh sorry And I don't want to be reliant on pain meds because they're just messing my tummy up. Um, so I'm very tired and it's fairly early. I mean, last night I didn't get to sleep till half three. So, you know, 11 o'clock feels early. But I need to somehow try and get changed and get to sleep. I've got a meeting with my disability advisor in the morning. Not that I really feel like I want to go. Um, she did say I could do it over the phone, but... I feel like it's just easier in person. Not that I have any idea of what I'm going to say. Um, I've really got to start thinking about this essay and packing to go home. And oh, it's just going to be a mess of a week. Um, uh, now I'm starting to feel a bit dead. I think the adrenaline's finally worn off. Hey guys. Um, not good this morning. Um, woken up but as you can tell my voice isn't great and I've got a lot of voiceover and radio stuff the next couple of days important stuff which is really not good my back is killing me um, so every time I cough my back's even worse I'm trying to use my walker but I think it's hurting my back more than it's helping it I just don't know what to do Hey guys, um, so I'm feeling a little bit better than I was, but it's starting to go back downhill again. You know what happens with coughs and colds in the evenings. Um, I've just had a shower, so I'm feeling a lot less sore. Um, I had a good meeting with my disability advisor this morning, um, but then um, I came home and was just really tired, so dosed myself up and had a sleep for the afternoon. Uh, my friend Lizzie came round and we watched Love Actually, which was really nice. And then I've just showered and I'm going to do my nails and just try and be as ready as I can be for um, an exciting but now stressful day um, in London tomorrow. I'm just really hoping that I can um, I can get my voice back. Good morning. Um, it's a very... It's not actually that early, but the sun is still rising. Um, I'm just on my way to the train to London because uh, I'm going to Capital FM today, which is really exciting. And thank God um, I've been able to look after my voice so that I can still do this and sound semi-okay. Uh, it's creeping in a little bit, but I've got the lemon sips down, I've got the honey and lemon down. So uh, let's see how it goes, shall we? Hey guys, um, so I've just been into Capital and recorded some of their imaging uh, as voiceover, which is really exciting. Um, and the head of production there is going to pitch it to the big bosses 
Um, and you never know. I'm not keeping too much hope up, but it was a really nice experience. And being the head of production, he spoke to me all about uh, how they produce things and how they produce some of the things for the Jingle Bell Ball and sound design. So he wants me to. So I'm sending some stuff over to him as well. So that's all very exciting. Um, I'm now going to head over to Winter Wonderland um, before I go and see Bohemian Rhapsody at Cineworld Leicester Square because I thought I need to see it and uh, I've got the opportunity so I may as well. Um, and then I'm meeting my friend for dinner so all in all it's going to be a really nice day in London and I've been talking for ages and the escalator is still going so <laughs> see you later. Hey guys, I'm just in Hyde Park at Winter Wonderland. I've already been suckered into buying something, uh, but it is really good. It's a new heat pad, I'll be sure to show you later, but they warmed it up for me and it's in a belt around my back and it feels amazing. Um, I'm gonna have a look around the cute little stalls and I will talk to you a little bit later. I'm so glad that Bohemian Rhapsody was as good as I hoped and prayed it would be. I've waited so long to see it, I didn't want it to be a letdown. Uh, but it's bloody brilliant. I love Queen so much and I think I love them a little bit more now. Um, I'm just on the way to the tube station and then I'm going to have station. Just on the way to the tube station uh, and I'm going to have meet my friend Georgie for dinner who I haven't seen in forever. Uh, so it's going to be a nice evening. Oh guys, I do not feel good. Um, I had a really nice dinner with my friend Georgie, but as soon as I got on the train home, I just felt horrible. Um, I'm really bloated, and despite a lemon sip on the train, you can hear what's happened. Um, I'm so thankful that my voice held out for this morning um, and sounded passable enough, um, but this is not good. Um, I have done like 14,000 steps today, a lot of which outside in the cold. Um, yeah, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> got a rash going on on my chest, like my body is mad. It was mad after prod, but, uh, but now it's really mad. Um, but you can't pass up opportunities like I had today. Um, so yeah, I'm glad I went. And I'm glad I stayed and watched Bohemian Rhapsody and saw Georgie. Like they were all positive things. Um, I just have to have to take the consequences. Um, I was going to audition for Cabaret tomorrow. Safe to say, I'm not going to do that now. And I just have to take it as a sign that, for whatever reason, it was not meant to be. Um, I'm going to get some sleep because I feel rough. See you tomorrow. <laughs> um, probably won't go to my tutorial this morning, or my cabaret audition this afternoon, or my live work committee meeting tonight. Um, I also need to pack, and I don't know when I'm going to do that. Um, I'd like to go home, please. Oh, I do not feel good. I didn't sleep uh, because of my cold, so I decided to come to the library at 10 o'clock at night in my pyjamas. Yeah. Second time I've been out in my pyjamas and my coat today, um, but it'll be open. useful. Hey guys, uh, sorry I didn't realise quite how bad my voice was. Um, happy Christmas jumper day. Um, happy washing up day. <laughs> Uh, the one thing I do really, really miss when I'm here is uh, having a dishwasher. Uh, but I'm leaving tonight. I'm going to make a quick lentil bolognese because I feel really bad because my dad and stepmom did me a big, lovely shop and I haven't been up to making any of it. So I thought I'd make one now, that way I can have it for lunch. And then, um, <coughs> sorry, um, I can have it for lunch and freeze the rest so I haven't wasted a load of food before I go home for Christmas. Uh, then I've got to finish packing and uh, then I'll be on the train and home to Essex for Christmas. Uh, I cannot wait. Hey guys, uh, so I'm just getting ready to leave. <laughs> um, I'm really exhausted. 
Um, but I thought I would just show you this before I go. I got it in Winter Wonderland the other day. It's by um, Click Heat. And basically it's a big one of those hand warmer things that you... Um, there's a little clicky thing inside. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it with one hand, but it looks like this now. Um, and then you, you click the little metal thing. And you see it's starting to, like react um and it gets warm uh, so that's warm already um and they stay warm for like two hours um but the best thing about it so i'm gonna have that for the train it's gonna be lovely the best thing about it is this little belt so basically it's got a pocket inside so i can put this so i can put my heat pad in the pocket of this and velcro it round my waist so it can keep my back warm um, and comfy during the journey home. Um, yeah, right. Home to Essex for Christmas. <sighs> <coughs> Finally home. It's good to be back in my bed. Good night. Hey guys, sorry I haven't spoken to you all day. I've been just feeling really unwell. Um, I had a nice morning watching The Grinch with the guides, it's a very cute film, um, and I came back and tried to start some Christmas wrapping and bits and bobs, I was going to do some work tonight, but I'm just feeling really unwell, as you can see I'm bright red for no apparent reason, I keep just being hot and cold, I'm sore everywhere, my headache is so intense today. Um, and I just don't really know what to do with myself. I've been trying to go off to sleep, but I'm not being able to sleep either. <coughs> so, I don't know what to do. Um, struggling a bit. <coughs> Morning, guys. I had a really rough night. Um, just want this cold to go away now. It's just really annoying. But because I had a rough night, it's meant I've slept in later than I've, I would have liked. I'm just getting in a bad sleeping pattern of not getting to sleep till late and being up in the middle of the night and then sleeping, sleeping in. Uh, I did do quite a lot of work on my essay last night. I don't know whether any of it's any good or not, but at least I've officially made a start. <laughs> um, I'm going to stop talking now because it hurts <laughs> Hey guys, um, it's Monday, sorry I didn't sign off yesterday I'll sign off properly when I've got a voice back later Thank you so much for coming along on this week with me um, I'm sorry I've been ill and therefore quiet And where I mean ill, I mean iller than usual <laughs> um, Spoons and love to all of you uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I'd love it if you'd hit subscribe. I'll see you next week.